Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Uche with another video. And today, let's talk about Candace Owen versus porn. If you guys don't know, Miss Candace Owen took to uh, Twitter or X uh, and posted about porn needing to be banned. Um, <laughs> first of all, I'm going to be careful what I say here because this topic is very deep, super, super deep. Yeah, I know I'm a, I'm a very spiritual person. I go all the way deep. So deep, okay? that this app don't like me. And it's actually really interesting that TikTok is supposed to be one of the most progressive apps, you know, because a lot of people talk a lot of truth to power on TikTok. But my shit be so fucking deep that this app don't like me. They suppress me all the time. So I have to be careful with what I say. Um, that being said, I just want to say this, okay? Um, no shade to Miss Candace. I'm, I'm not a fan. I've never been a fan of Candace. Um, Candace is a beautiful black woman, very beautiful, super intelligent, super, super duper intelligent. But Candace Owen is a snake. OK, she's a she's a very um, intellectual manipulator. She, she's a good talker. She's super good with what she does. And I don't blame her. OK, she's a victim of a capitalist system that isn't is not checking for her as a black woman. OK, black and woman and also a very intelligent person. So you got to do what you got to do to, you know, what I'm saying to make a name for yourself. So she's been able to wiggle her way to stardom, if you want to call it that. If she didn't do all the slithering she's done, you wouldn't know who she is. And she's not the only person who's done this. OK, there's a lot of very talented, intelligent people out there that the word would have paid dust if they didn't do all the fuck shit that they've done. So I can't really blame her, but at the same time, so I'm a realist. Candace Owen is a very intelligent snake, you know. I highly doubt that Candace Owen went to Twitter to talk about um, banning porn because she genuinely cares. I, I highly doubt that. It's either that or, you know, she wanted to spill tea on her, you know, her husband. Like, are you trying to tell us that your husband is addicted to porn? Is that what it is? I highly doubt it because, you know, black folks will eat that up. I think she's just trying to stare controversy because it's been a while. She's trended, okay? After the whole Ben Shapiro thing, I think it's Ben Shapiro with the Daily Wire, no one has really been checking for her like that. So I think she was just sitting in her home and thinking to herself, what can I say to trend so people you know something controversial that would give me the upper hand because you know porn is one of those things that most people most people may be guilty of but they don't feel comfortable talking about so that's why she probably went for it okay i highly doubt that she genuinely cares about abolishing porn because even if she you wanted to abolish porn there are procedures in abolishing something that is so monumental and just something that that is so involved in most people's lives and i think candace owen is even she's intelligent enough to know that just abolishing porn right off the back is just ridiculous that's that's as unrealistic as they come now that being said i see the point okay this is very controversial a lot of people have been talking back and forth online it's become a big deal i don't think porn needs to be banned but I do think it needs to be regulated, heavily regulated. I'm going to be careful with what I say here now, Chuck. I'm about to speak some really deep spiritual stuff that TikTok is not going to like. I pray to God Almighty that someday I'm, I'm so successful that I have my own platform that is independent of these social media platforms so I can speak my own truth raw and unapologetically. But, you know. I'm grateful that I have what I have here now, Chab. So, but I'm going to be careful with what I say. Cause, you know, big brother's watching. A lot of people who are calling for porn to be abolished are probably people who don't understand why porn exists. First of all, a lot of those people are self-righteous and inconsiderate uh, and just hypocritical and full of shit. And then they, there are people who just don't understand why porn exists. Porn exists because humans exist. You have to understand from a spiritual perspective, to be human means to be a fallen being, okay? We can even go biblical. When Adam and Eve sinned against God and, you know, God kicked them out of the Garden of Eden. Of course, I've talked about this so many times. This is not a literal thing that happened. This is just our essence. Whatever it is that happened, okay? And and then we, we went against God and we got demoted to this flesh and bone. When God made outfits for Adam and Eve with the sheep skin or whatever it is, it means skin, like literal skin. So your skin is made of the exact same thing that a sheep skin is made of. So this is what it means to be, be human. You are a reduced being, a reduced form of being, 
To be human, okay, just like in Genesis, means to live in pain, in constant pain, okay? Just like in the Bible, God talked about, you know, Eve would have pain and childbirth and Adam would do this and this and that. This is basically existential, existential pain. I've talked about this so many different times, but this is pain that everybody feels. You feel it, I feel it. This is pain. We're always in constant pain. As a result, the fallen human mind always gravitates towards vices, Okay. Vices are everywhere. Your vice is supposed to help pacify your pain, okay? So it's not as bad. Your vice could be pornography. Somebody else's vice could be alcohol. Somebody else's vice could be drugs. Somebody else's vice could be weed. Somebody else's vice could be makeup. Somebody else's vice could be, you know, attention seeking, attention whorism. Somebody else's vice could be um, on social media, follow for follow. How many likes do I have? How many, li how many likes do I now have? These are um, vices. These, these are indicative of a fallen being. It's just how humans are. So for you to come out here boldly and say porn needs to be outright banned without realizing that you too, you're human. You may not be susceptible to the vice of pornography, but you're susceptible to the vice of something else. And if we're going to be banned in porn, well, shit, that was somebody else's vice, your vice needs to be banned too. You wouldn't want that. And if we are in constant pain, I mean, we live in a world that is just reeking of apathy. The, the pain is so much and the vices are here, intentionally created to help pacify your pain. If those vices were to be lifted, it would be a hot fucking mess. It would be bad. The human ego will come out to play and you will not survive it. Now, I'm going to be careful, okay? Because this part, TikTok, I'd be surprised if TikTok doesn't take this down, this video down, chat. I'm going to be careful. Vices are very easily available to humans on purpose, okay? There are powers and principalities in this world that make vices available to humans, to numb your pain, to pacify your pain. This is why the word continues to reek of malarkey, okay? It's like white supremacy and patriarchy, two big evils came together and had a baby called capitalism. And capitalism, this, those whole family of white supremacy, patriarchy, and capitalism has turned the world into a literal hell that creates way more pain every single day and every single day. And, and yet the society keeps pumping these vices to, uh, to not nullify, but to pacify our pain so that we are in conformity to the mess, the malarkey that this, this ridiculous world is reeking of. And this is why there are vices, because something or someone that is very intelligent, very malevolent, want it to be a thing to pacify your pain. That being said, I don't think banning vices is realistic or even healthy because that would create a whole lot of issues. If you're not, you know, you cannot just ban vices if you're not tackling the pain, the cause of the pain. And again, the cause of the pain is very intentional. It's very malicious. OK, if you're not ready, if, if most people are just not ready to fight that, the cause of that pain because most people are just complacent and just zombified. It's just it is what it is. But realistically, what needs to be done is regulation. I think these vices need to be regulated. Now, pornography is by far one of the most dangerous vices ever. And the reason is because of the, the, uh, the three A's, okay? A, accessible, okay? It's easily accessible. Anyone can have access to pornography. It's actually quite scary. All you have to do is just get on the internet. Everybody has a smartphone. Everybody has internet. Hell, you can even go on Twitter. It's so easy. Like, you could be searching for anything and boom, there's porn right there. And it's so easy, easily accessible to anybody. Second, affordability. Porn is free. It's literally free. It's zero dollars. Zero. Anybody can afford that. Anybody can afford zero dollars. And then third, it's anonymous. Anonymity. Okay? It's anonymous. You can have a 14-year-old, your 14-year-old son go to the bathroom. You think he's taking a shit, but he's, you know, watching God knows what and doing God knows what. And he comes out with a smile on his face. And you're thinking, oh, that's my beautiful son, blah, blah, blah. But you don't know that boy has been, you know what I'm saying, doing what he's been doing. So that three, three A's is what makes porn extremely dangerous. And I believe that is on purpose. There are some powers in this world that are intentional to make that on purpose, to make it easily accessible, to make it easily anonymous, and to make it affordable for everybody. Now, you might be asking why. Why is it that it is intentional? There's, you know, some type of power, you know, that is in, it's very intentional for porn to have the, uh, the three A's, 
okay? There's a lot of research on ED, erectile dysfunction, and it's very true that erectile dys dysfunction is hitting men more than ever, okay? For the first time in the history of men, we are having reports of young guys, even teenagers, having ED. It is scary, which is truly, truly an, uh, an effect of porn. That's very true. But y'all know I don't live in the flesh, chat. Like, I go very deep. I'm much deeper. I don't think, of course, yes, ED, erectile dysfunction, is definitely uh, uh, um, a problem. It needs to be talked about. It really is a problem. But I, I don't think the, the powers that are making pornography easily accessible are doing it to, have, to give you ED. I think they're doing it to lower your vibration, your, 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 um, your spiritual vibration. And this goes very, 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 very deep, Chad. And I don't even know how I'll be able to say this on here without getting in trouble. Because if you know, you know, I think you're being groomed from a really young age, especially with some of these um, children's um, uh, TV shows and things like that. Everything has become so sexualized. The point is to desensitize you for you to want more and more and more. And you have so much, uh, so much pain still being pumped and then so much vices easily accessible. And over time, your spirit just gets desensitized and desensitized and desensitized. You have to understand that your pure consciousness is pure light. Your consciousness is so powerful, you can burn down the universe itself and beyond. This is how powerful it is, okay? I've talked about how Jesus, Jesus' consciousness was able to perform so much miracles, and he said even you can do more. But most, most people don't even know you have the ability to turn water into wine. You have no idea. But that's because something else is feeding off of your consciousness, lowering your vibration. And pornography, because of how easily accessible it is, it just, you know, it's, it's, it's being gradually creep, uh, crept into your life. It desensitizes you and you just want more and more and more. And this just leads to extreme perversion. And as a result, you have pain, you have vice, you have pain, you have vice. And you're just in this constant loop of perversion back to back to back to back to back. And something else is sucking up your um, your vibration, your energy flow. And, and it just the thing is just feeding this, this perverse system of patriarchy, white supremacy, and, you know, birthing capitalism. That's all I can say right now, because, you know what I'm saying, this app don't like me, okay? I pray to God Almighty that I'm so successful that I don't need these apps. I can just speak truth to power, because people like me, I see through so much shit, bro. When you start to see how truly dark this world is, oh my God, I feel like some of these Christians, some of these so-called Christians, yeah, I don't even understand. I don't identify as Christian, but I, I, I feel like I'm way more Christian than a lot of people. The Bible said, what, what we're dealing with is not flesh and blood. It's powers and principalities in higher places. This thing is dark. It's very, very, very malevolent. The Bible also said that the devil is walking around like a roaring lion looking for who to devour. As in, this thing never sleeps at all. It is very intelligent. And the only way to beat it is to outsmart it. Even the Bible said that you have to study the devil so you can outsmart it. This thing is very, very, very dark. And it feeds, it's created so much perverse systems to feed you vices. To feed you vices, to keep you dormant, to keep you complacent, to keep you desensitized. It's because it feeds off of your energy, your life force, your consciousness, your spirit, your soul. It's pure light. This is the only way that this thing, this thing is able to survive because energy flows from your soul to it. This is much, much deeper. Don't be surprised. TikTok would even allow me to upload this, okay? I wouldn't even be surprised. They'll take it down or for whatever whatever bullshit reason. Yeah, yeah I know this, this app come for me all the time. But again, I'm going to be starting a Discord um, channel someday. Very soon, the more my followers grow... So we can talk about some real stuff. Like I'm talking some really, 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 really deep stuff that don't even involve humans. Like this shit is so dark and powerful. It's formless. I see it all the time, even in my own home. I'm not even joking. If you know, you know. And this is something that people like myself, light workers like myself have to deal with. And the average person doesn't understand it. They don't understand that our struggles are different. But anyway, I don't want to go too philosophical, too spiritual. I just want to reiterate and say, I don't think it's ideal to just outright ban porn it doesn't make any sense okay because porn exists because humans exist and and the reason porn is vice is a vice and, and the reason why humans the human mind gravitate towards vice is because the human the human experience is very painful you cannot eradicate the vices if you're not if you're not thinking about eradicating the pain and we're just all in pain so instead of um banning porn we should look for ways to um regulate porn 
regulated so it's not as easily accessible i think it's quite unfortunate that anyone including children have access to pornography especially pornography especially on twitter i think that needs to be regulated significantly more and we need to stop stop shaming people for coming out and talking about addictions and you know all kinds of things you know we should stop shaming people for mental health journey for their mental health journey this is the only way that we are able to move forward okay let me know how y'all feel do you agree with me do you not agree with me let me know Uche, peace and love